Good morning. Good morning. Today is a good day. Blessings on today, family. I'm doing a little extra on this morning since I had to come in uh, on this morning. Blessings to your family. Uh, this is a Fit for the Kingdom pop-up on this morning. I love y'all. Blessings, 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 blessings. Just give me a few minutes to kind of uh, warm up here um, on this morning. I thank God for your life. Listen, and I, I'm, I'm doing a pop-up this morning, all right? This wasn't planned, but since I'm here on this morning, I might as well. Hello, hello, family. I might as well on this glorious morning bless you on this morning. Just give me a few minutes just to kind of get warmed up here. I promise you, we, we going somewhere, and I want to encourage you on this morning uh, in the Lord, big time, big time encouragement on this morning. I'm still in the, in the vein of encouraging you, lifting you up, building you up. You know, we, we still in that vein this morning. Just give me a few minutes just to kind of uh, get myself together here. This is extra today, y'all. Bow with me, bow with me, bow with me on this glorious day. I love y'all, family. I love y'all to life. Don't y'all know that? I promise you, I love you to life. It is a good day. It is a good day. That, like I say, this is extra on this morning, but I really, really, really wanted to bless you on this morning. I wanted to bless you on this morning. And I want to encourage a few people this morning to keep pressing. All right. I really want to encourage you on this morning to keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep trusting. Keep believing. Hello. I know I'm talking to somebody on this glorious morning. I know. I know. Just give me a few minutes. I promise you. I'm just warming up. Like I say, this is extra on this morning, and I just feel led to encourage a few people on this morning to keep pressing, just to keep pressing, keep trusting God. Are you hearing me on this morning? Are you hearing me on this morning? Hey, family, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me go on and say hello on this glorious morning to you. Hello, Apostle Chimes. I see my mentor, Suki. Good morning, good morning. I just wanna bless y'all this morning. Hey, Amen. On this glorious morning, trying to get this camera right, y'all. Uh, let me go ahead on and say my hellos. Hey, Charlotte, hey, my sister, hello. Our scripture today, if you wanna get it for me, you know the one about pressing toward the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. I didn't put my scripture up because it wasn't planned, but I was meditating on that as I rode to work on this morning. I want to start out by saying good morning. I love y'all so much. Uh, hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Evangelist Brian. You know, I got to warm up. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, Yasmin. Good morning. I got to warm up first. Y'all know it just take me just a couple of minutes. All right. I want to go ahead on and say hello and greetings and tell y'all I love y'all and thank y'all for tuning in on this morning. But this is a Fit for the Kingdom inspiration uh, pop-up. Let me make sure. All right. So listen. Uh the scripture I want to use this morning, I'm going to kind of walk a little slow this morning. Uh, then I kind of wind up a little bit. Uh, we, I want to talk to you about pressing. All right. I want to talk to you about pressing. I know that you have things in your life, listen, that can be uh, challenging. 
but I want you to stay focused. I want you to press toward the mark, which is the high calling that is in Christ Jesus in your life. I don't know who this is for, but I'm so inspired this morning and encouraged to tell you to press. Lord have mercy. I'm trying to not get out there too fast on this morning, but I know it's a few family members that's on here this morning uh, that need to hear this word about pressing. You understand what I'm saying? I like uh, the fact about the olive. Y'all know about the olive. You know how we get the olive oil, the anointing oil, you know, that comes from the olive. Uh, I want to start off by referencing that. And when you look at the oil that comes from the olive, come on here, uh, it has to go through a pressing. Are you hearing me? It has to go through a pressing. It has to go through a crushing. So I know that I'm talking to somebody this morning uh, that has a God-given purpose, and now it is time for you to be pressed. It is time for you to be crushed. And what am I saying? So that you can press toward the mark in Christ Jesus. You can press towards your goals and what God is calling you to do in your kingdom assignment. Let me tell you something this morning. You are fit for your kingdom assignment. Don't you ever doubt the fact that the father wants to use you to do great things but there is a process come on here that you and I have to go through you you are you hearing me there is a process that you and I have to go through to get to where it is uh, at the end of our destiny the purpose that God has for our life uh, thank you my sister apostle good morning good morning so I want to tell you this morning this walk is about pressing uh, this this walk is about your making uh, this walk is about what the father wants to do in and throughout your life uh, do you not understand the value of who you are in the kingdom uh, I want to help somebody on this great good ooh, getting up morning uh, understand the fact uh, that who God calls he equips and who he equips you don't hear what I'm saying he qualifies that means that God has chosen in you and I for a time such as this. Uh, uh, do I have any presses? Uh, can I start off early by saying uh, where my soldiers at? Uh, when we talk about where my soldiers at, uh, we're talking about where our family is, where our peeps are. Uh, rock cut, oh Lord have mercy. Oh Lord have mercy. I'm going to be out there already. Y'all better come get me. Y'all better come get me because let me tell you something. I told you that we got to fight for something. Something. Are you hearing me? Uh, you got to fight for your God-given purpose. Don't let nobody tell you that you got, uh, oh Lord have mercy, that you don't have to fight. Yes, you do. Uh, because you got something on the inside of you uh, that God wants to use. But let me tell you something. Uh, you got to press your way through opposition. Uh, you got to press your way through adversity. Are you hearing me? Where my peeps at? Uh, oh, this going to be a good walk. Lord have mercy. I told you it's a pop-up fit for the kingdom inspiration pop-up are you hearing me where my peeps said are you hearing me Lord have mercy but I want to tell you that God wants to use you strategically Lord have mercy that's why I tell people uh, dwell in the secret place that's where you get your seat your strategies of how the father wants to use you for his glory do you not understand the magic magnitude uh, or the weight of glory that's upon your life because you have pressed your way through uh, because you have went through the process uh, you made it out are you hearing me uh, when the olive is crushed come on here Lord something happens uh, when you get crushed in your spirit you what you are saying is God purify me are you hearing me sanctify me uh, I yield over to you use me 
ain't for your glory. That may not be for everybody because everybody don't want to go through oppressing. Uh, are you hearing me? Uh, everybody don't want God to move in their life. Uh, some people don't want to give up themselves. Uh, Lord have mercy. If you get out of the way, uh, then God can use you. Uh, Lord have mercy. Who on this morning want to be used by the Father to do something great in the kingdom? Uh, what am I saying? The greatest thing in the kingdom is winning souls. Uh, I told you on yesterday, go ahead on. Uh, for those who missed yesterday, uh, tell the Father, thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, I thank you on yesterday and still today. Uh, I thank you, Father, for everybody that you're using to do great experts uh, in their kingdom assignment. Uh, are you hearing me? Uh, go ahead on. Come on, soldier. Thank the Lord for somebody else's God-given purpose. Uh, are you hearing me? Press, uh, press, uh, press beyond measure. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's another scripture I like. Uh, Lord, have mercy. It say, I can uh, do all things uh, through Christ uh, that strengthens me. Uh, Lord, have mercy. God sent your strength uh, to your soldiers on this morning. Uh, they got assignments uh, that they have to do on this. Uh, Lord, have mercy. What am I saying? Uh, can I tell you something? Uh, the devil in hell uh, don't have the power or the capacity to stop what God wants to do in your life. Uh, are you hearing me? Come on, soldier. Lord, have mercy. We ain't no wimps. Uh, when the Father, our Lord, have mercy, left from here, uh, he gave us power. Lord, have mercy. He poured out his spirit uh, on all flesh. Uh, this may not be for everybody, uh, but I'm going to encourage a few folks on this morning. You better press your way. Uh, you better press your way. Uh, oh, let me help you. Uh, you're going through something financial. Uh, press your way and say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, if you're going through something uh, need a healing in your body. Press your way and say, thank you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's the God that healeth thee. Jehovah, our Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He's even Jehovah Shalom. He is the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, help us today. You better press your way. You better press your way. Ah, you better press your way. <laughs> Let me go back to something else uh, that I love. Uh, David says, uh, create in me uh, a clean heart. Uh, renew in me uh, a right spirit. Uh, what was David referencing? Uh, David was referencing the fact that he needed God uh, to be in his life. Uh, Lord have mercy. All this morning and in your pressing uh, Lord have mercy in your pressing uh, can you acknowledge the fact baby hello somebody that you need God in your life uh, Lord have mercy oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good yes he is good let me tell you something that song lord have mercy has been resonating uh, in my spirit man uh, i shall i will uh, give thanks in everything uh, lord have mercy uh, so today once again uh, i'm standing here giving thanks uh, for your god-given purpose uh, do you not understand the value uh, of who you are in the kingdom do you not understand <clears throat> that the father wants to use you greatly lord have mercy in the kingdom do you not understand you were bought i was bought with a price jesus sacrificed himself for you and i 
What am I saying? Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, obedience, come on, family, uh, is better than sacrifice. Uh, did you hear the call that God has on your life? Uh, not only did you hear the call that God has on your life, uh, are you willing to obey the instructions of the Father? Are you hearing me? Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, are you hearing me? Are you willing uh, to obey the instructions uh, that the Father has on your life? Uh, Lord, have mercy. It comes without measure. Let me tell you something. Uh, God is more than enough. Uh, Lord, have mercy. All you have to do, you and I, is just trust him. Yield over to him. Let him have his way in our lives. Are you hearing me? Oh, Lord, have mercy. This walk is good this morning. See, let me tell you something. I just want to talk to you just a few minutes. I want to encourage you just, just a few more minutes. I want to encourage you that the Bible says about you and I that we were created in his likeness and his image. I want to encourage you one more again that it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, why am I telling you these scriptures? Because you have to understand that you are God's hand craftsmanship. He makes us and molds us into what he would have us to be. Are you hearing me? But the fact of the matter is that we have to yield over to the Father for real. I'm just talking to a few folks this morning. Uh, Lord have mercy. Can I tell you something that the love of God is so real? Uh, I love my husband. Lord have mercy. But it's something about the love of God uh, that does something in my spirit. Uh, I love my children. Are you hearing me? But it's something about the Father's love, oh my God. It's something about the Father's love that does something on the inside of me. I know that I'm not the only one. There should be something on the inside of you uh, that every time you think about how much the Father loves you, it makes you want to keep pressing and pushing. Are you hearing me? It makes you want to say, wait a minute. Uh, Father, here am I. Just use me. Whatever you want to do. You know, sometime uh, when the Father is doing something strategically in your life, uh, it may look crazy in the natural are you hearing me uh, but Lord when you get the download in the spirit realm uh, uh, it makes all the sense in the world of why you are doing what you do unto the father uh, that's enough for you and I to just keep pressing uh, that's enough for you and I to keep pushing uh, I'm reminded cause I'm a mother I remember when I was pregnant with both of my children uh, hard labor hard labor uh, and so when we got to that last trimester, are you hearing me? And it was getting time for the breaking of the water and the time for the push. Uh, Lord have mercy in the room, in the room. And my husband, he was there. I, I want to help you out uh, uh, in the natural as well as the spiritual. It was very, very painful uh, to push them bad boys out. Are oh, you hearing me? Because I was in labor a long time with the both of them. Are you hearing me? What am I saying? Uh, you may be in labor for a minute uh, with your God-given purpose. You may be in labor for a long time, but can I tell you something? Uh, even though I was in labor for a long time with my boys, uh, they had already told me by the sonogram that they were going to be boys. Uh, are you hearing me? So I had to endure the pain. Are you hearing me? The 
agony uh, but Lord have mercy uh, when I push them out a uh, uh, beautiful but Lord have mercy both of my bouncing baby boys was beautiful what am I saying to you uh, what's on the inside of you uh, may take a minute Lord have mercy to come out uh, but if you obey the instructions of the Lord uh, get ready I'm in position right now if y'all could see I'm in position to push uh, what am I telling you push baby what am I telling you press uh, something on the inside of you has to come out Woo! this walk here Lord, have mercy. Uh, this walk right here, let me tell you something. Uh, God is faithful. Are you hearing me? Uh, but let me tell you something else about the babies being in the womb. Uh, can I help you? Uh, there is a sack around the babies. Are you hearing me? Uh, to protect them while they are in the womb. Uh, that's why in the secret place, uh, that is the sack. Of protection that covers your life. If you never dwell in the secret place, uh, you are forfeiting your protection on your kingdom assignment. Uh, therefore, when you are not in the secret place, all kinds of contamination can come to try to get you off track. But baby, woo, if you stay in the secret place, Lord have mercy. Uh, all that you need uh, to cover the assignment, uh, you will be protected. Uh, that baby will come to full term. Uh, there are no stillborn kingdom assignments in this moment. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Are you hearing me? Hello, somebody. I, I just want to encourage you this morning. Uh, your kingdom purpose is not stillborn. Uh, Lord have mercy. It's not stillborn. I, I, I want to encourage you. Are you hearing me that your kingdom assignment is not stillborn? Uh, Lord have mercy. In the secret place, every ingredient that you need to protect from you, uh, Lord, have mercy. From any contamination, Lord, any annihilation of the enemy uh, is in the secret place. Uh, you got to press your way. <laughs> All right? Listen. I love you guys to life. This was a pop-up this morning. You know, this ain't Monday and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday is our day. Lord have mercy. But I wanted to encourage you on this morning to keep pressing. Lord have mercy. Press your way through because God has a greater plan for your life. Do you not understand the value of who you are in your kingdom assignment? Somebody is in need of you. Are you hearing me? That's why it's important that we have a relationship with the Father because our relationship with the Father will cultivate, protect, lead us, and guide us in our kingdom assignment. We, can't, we cannot afford to miss in this moment. Everybody talking about seasons. No, you better seize the moment, baby. Ain't no season. Seize the moment. Seize the moment, not the season. Seasons change, but the moment is happening now. It's what you going to do with this moment. <laughs> I don't have time to wait on the spring, the fall, the winter, you know, all them four seasons. You understand what I'm saying? It's the time we better seize the moment. <laughs> we better seize the moment. What is it that God wants to do in your life that you haven't availed yourself to the pressing? That's why I gave you the olive oil because the olive oil has to be crushed. Allow the Father to crush the impurities out of your God-given purpose that you may see straight in your kingdom assignment. Are you hearing me? I just say I love y'all this morning. 
God bless you. That's our fit for the kingdom pop up. Listen. That's our fit for the kingdom pop up. I want to bless you real good. Listen. I'm going to leave this with you. That's right. Seize the moment. Not the season. Seize the moment. Allow the Father to use you. I like that each one reach one because that tells me that all of us got to reach somebody. And then that somebody has to reach somebody. Do you understand the magnitude of stuff? See, don't look at quantity. Look at quality. Now, if you spend time and quality, you will understand what the investment is. But if you look at quantity, Lord have mercy, you won't fully understand the value of what quality is. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So I just wanted to bless you real, real good this morning. Y'all know this ain't Monday and Wednesday. But I felt this walk this morning. Let me tell you something. It's a good walk. It's even a good walk for me. I'm telling you, the Father's doing some stuff. He's doing some amazing things. Listen, let me go ahead on and say hello. I done calm down to everybody. Hey, sis, Shanita, hey. I see my mentor, Suki, uh, Mr. Terrell, blessings to you. Hey, Kim, I want to tell you, you're doing a wonderful job, women overcoming obstacles. I bless God for your life and your kingdom assignment as well as Kim talks. Let me tell you something. God is doing some stuff in amazing people's lives that have yielded over. I dare not think that I'm the only one seizing a moment in the kingdom assignment. God is using many to catapult in the kingdom. I talk to my, my, my mentor. I try to make sure that I check on her every single day. But it, cause it encourages me to keep moving in kingdom and kingdom purpose. That's why you have to, and I love my pastors and my leaders, spiritual mom, spiritual father, love them as well. Dr. Titus Stewart, Lady Tammy Stewart. Mom texts me encouraging words or if I drop in her spirit, she can pick up the phone and call. So I love a shout out to my spiritual mother, Lady Tammy Stewart. Um, my spiritual daughter, Shantae. Let me tell y'all something. I've watched this baby in her beginnings and I'm gonna share this with you. I remember where she started at. And I told her, I said, daughter, I say, keep your heart pure. Go after everything that the Father wants to do in your life to be a blessing to somebody else, get to their purpose. So every time I see her, I get excited. Let me help y'all. When you celebrate others and their God-given purpose, that opens the door for the Father to bless you. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? And y'all probably see my post and God opened another door uh, for me. Uh, and I'm thankful. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bragging on me. I'm just bragging on daddy. I went from being on one TV network to go on to two and a radio host and other endeavors. What am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this to be braggadocious. That's not what I'm saying. So I don't want, hey, Helen, good morning. I don't want y'all to miss this where you think she's trying to, you know, show off that she on TV and radio. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. I remember when I was trying to go to school, I was in nursing school and I got pregnant with my, my oldest son. And when it came time to go, I was having him in, in February and I got accepted in nursing school in January. And so they gave me another opportunity to come back to school in August. And let me tell y'all what happened to me. I was taking 18 hours. I was a new mother, new wife, all this stuff going on. And so in two of my 
courses, I made these. So I had to sit out a semester and they accepted me to come back in. Then something else happened where I couldn't go back. And I got real, real discouraged. I'm just being transparent. I got really, really discouraged. And so later on, God bless me. I had a business with my mom for five years. It's called Houston Cardio Diagnostic. Uh, and we did ultrasounds and EKGs. I'm, 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 I'm sharing something with you because I want to bless you to keep pressing. That's why I'm telling you this. And for five years I had a business, but I had small children. Then I had another son, my younger son. And so we was on call. I was making good money. Y'all would be a millionaire right now if I'd have stayed in there. So once again, I had to give up dreams and visions. So in 2012, I started back in school again on my journey. I still had my credits and stuff, and I got accepted in Bible college. I started off at a College of Biblical Studies. Then I transferred from there and went to uh, International Kingdom Bible College. Then I left from there and I went to Juliana King. What am I saying to you? I realized that I love counseling more, hello Richard, than anything. I love ministering to people. So I began a journey again in 2012 to go back to school, but I wanted to do what I wanted to do where my passion was, are you hearing me? Which is helping people in counseling. So I got my bachelor's in counseling, got my master's in counseling, Went on back, messed around, and got my doctorate in Christian counseling. Then I said, wait a minute, I'm going to go and get board certified. So I did that. Are you hearing me? Then I turned around. Went through some stuff with my babies. Are you hearing me? So that caused me to have to sit out a semester, I mean a, a year from school. Okay. okay. And, uh, caused me to have to sit out. And so I prayed a prayer because I was helping people and going through that with my boys and I prayed a prayer. And I said, Father, I, I have one request. I will keep doing what you told me to do, but I have one request. When I walk across the stage and get my PhD, will you allow both of my sons to be home from prison? That was my prayer. I said, I'll keep doing whatever it is you want me to do but that's my only request i ain't asking for no money I ain't asking for no things will you allow both of my sons to be home when i take this last walk across the stage with my phd in christian education do y'all not know my last son came home october the 22nd they pushed graduation up until november are you hearing me are you hearing me? Because originally graduation was supposed to be in July of last year. But something happened where we were going, the hotel that we have it at, that they had to push it until November. Are you hearing me? October the 22nd of 2019, the father had both of my children here. Are you hearing me? When I walked across the stage to get my Ph.D., why do you think I praise God the way I do? It ain't because of no degrees or anything like that. It's because I didn't think that I was qualified to be a doctor of anything. But the father, because I pressed my way and the father seen fit and my heart's desire, he granted that. So I'm trying to help you understand, you better press your way. Whatever it is that the Father has told you to do, if you have a sincere heart, he will not deny you the desires of your heart. If your motive is right in your kingdom assignment, he knew my motive was right in my kingdom assignment. So the thing that I desired the most, he gave it to me. So nobody gave me anything. I went through school for years and years and years. And there were times I wanted to quit. 
but the father wouldn't let me. And so since he didn't let me quit, I can't let you quit. Press. Family. Press. I love you guys. Keep praying for me. All right? I got to go. I love you guys to life. All of y'all. William, Helen. If you tune in Monday and Wednesday, that's my normal walk. This was a pop-up. I normally walk on Mondays and Wednesdays from about, about 7.15, no later than 7.30. I come out and do my walk. All right? So listen, that's our Fit for the Kingdom Inspiration pop-up for today. I love you guys to life. Be blessed.